Road pit summary back at Bristol shows Dale Jarrett lost four spots. Steve Park lost three on that exchange of pit stops. Dale Jarrett did not need that caution flag. Well, his car hasn't been that good on, uh, on new tires and then to lose that many. He made a 15 and a half second pit stop, but still lost four positions. All right, now the 22 car, Ward Burton, the Caterpillar car, he's the leader of the race. He changed two tires on that last stop, trying to get that track position, and it worked. But now he's trying his best to get by the new car, the Casico car, from um, Rick Mast. And now he's got trouble on his back number, Rusty Wallace. Ooh, Rusty backs off. That's him a break. Well, I'll back up and get a run at him again here, maybe coming off of turn two. Mark Burton, only two right side tires. And that's a pit stop on 4.53. Oh, here's Rusty. Right now, he is faster than the 22 car, but it doesn't mean he can pass. All right, what about that two-tire stop, John Curtin? Jerry, I talked to his crew chief, Tommy Ball, and he said, hey, you got to take a chance sometimes. And this afternoon, I was talking with Ward, and Ward said, you know, a lot of drivers don't like coming to this racetrack. He said, I love coming here to Bristol. I love to drive this racetrack. And even though Rusty's getting around him right now, he's still headed possibly for a top five finish. When I talked to him this afternoon, that was what he wanted to do. by Rusty Wallace now for second spot, but he's hanging on. Tony Stewart still a couple of cars back. One problem with Tony Stewart, Mark Martin, Dale Earnhardt, a couple of problems they have is the 31 car and the 36 are racing for position. Talking about Schrader, the 36, and the 31 of Skinner, they're battling for the 13th position, so they can't just kind of get out of these guys' way because it's not to their benefit. And he can't run three wide, not very successful here. So now Tony Stewart does get up above the 31 car of Skinner. And Ward Burton now pulls up, and so as Stewart and Skinner have a little bit of rubbing action. And you're the six car. Goes by the, gets on the inside of the 20, trying to take the car away. Can't quite do it. Meanwhile, Earnhardt is on the apron trying to get by the six. And here comes that Elliott Sutter again. 33 laps to go, and it's going to come down to who can get by who. If they got a shot to catch Rusty, Rusty Wallace pull him away. I have straight away here. There is Tony Stewart, the second place car, or third place car, I should say. go by Ward Burton. Now Benny Stewart may have a shot. He does. He takes on that second spot. Here comes Mark Martin. Is he up far enough? Not quite. Now he is. Side by side for third position. Martin will make the move. Ward Burton up high. It opens the door for not only Martin to go by, but Earnhardt. Here comes Elliott Sapp. Well, there's two tires. It's just hard working for Ward Burton. Got in good track position, but it's going to be hard to keep it. Now look back at Elliott Sadler, the Sitco Ford. Elliott trying to work on the inside of Ford first. Four positions for fifth spot. Well, there's a train right behind him there. There's Steve Park, and then Sterling Marlin, then Jeff Burton, Dale Jarrett, all right there just waiting to pounce if they get up there and get an opportunity. Day, if something happens to one of those in front of that group, they think uh, dodging, not pouncing. Sterling Marlin able to go by, as is Jeff Burton in the car number 99. Here's Dale Jarrett. Bobby Labonte right behind Jarrett, although Labonte is showing a lap down in 15th position. Jarrett now being shown. He goes by the 22 car in the ninth spot. Rusty Wallace has said, uh, see the Tony Stewart. We saw Tony having all that trouble getting by the lap cars. He now is about two and a quarter seconds behind. And 
How about Ricky Rudd in car number 28? Ricky started way back in the back of the pack in 37th position. He's now on the lead lap, or stayed on the lead lap, and being shown in 10th spot. Yeah, he's one of those lost out on that lane. He's sitting on the back stretch, and he was uh, running in about 7th position, but, but got, uh, had to fit on the back stretch, lost a lot of position, trying to come back. Burton has made a pass on Sterling Marlin for position. Look back on our parts plus bumper cam back at Sterling. Jeff Burton now taking over the seventh spot. Put Sterling back to eighth. Dale Jarrett right on Sterling's bumper for position. DJ's in ninth. And Rudd is tenth. And Steve Park, the one car, is all over the back bumper. Now they have off turn four. It's a half lap later. Now they're back in four again. Elliot Sadler's best career finish, a 10th at Texas back in the spring of 99. In line at his best ever Winston Cup finish here tonight. If he can hang on, he's currently in fifth position. 